If you need any more proof that we're living in the future, look at the bloating trains they're building in Japan for trillions. So hold on to your hat and let's take a look at the Chiyo Shin. It's a new maglev train that will be completed as of around 2045 with expectations that it could come even sooner than that of maglev train if you didn't already. Hey folks, welcome to Finit X. I hope you liked our previous videos. Make sure you have subscribed our channel for regular updates. Two sets of strong electromagnets are used. One that pushes the train off the track and repels it, giving the impression that it is hovering, and one that moves the train forward. This accelerates them quickly by utilizing the absence of friction. The newest maglev bullet train in Japan is a real step into the future. Not an inexpensive one, though. It goes without saying that a project that truly hovers a train above the Earth like a Star Wars speeder wouldn't be inexpensive at all. The Japanese government's estimate is 9 trillion. Just so you don't get too shocked, that is 9 trillion yen in US dollars. Not exactly pocket change, but yet not exactly trillions. In dollars, that would be 66 billion, 537 million, 900 thousand dollars. So yeah, a big project with a big budget. The specialized maglev technology, the luxury accommodations, construction and more certainly add up to a pretty extreme final price. I mean, there's a reason that it took so long for this project to get off the ground, no pun intended. Therefore, when it comes to bullet trains, people are mostly just interested in the bullet portion and the destinations. But first, let's talk about speed before we consider which city will gain from it. That would be the maximum speed these newborns can reach. The Chiyo Shinzen is undoubtedly a strong weapon. It is capable of reaching a shark-like peak speed of 314 miles per hour. Now, I know that's fast, but is it fastest train in the world? Not quite. The record for fastest train is the French Tave, which hit 357 miles per hour. So yeah, it's not quite the top. That being said, Japan has developed a similar maglev train that led to this one that actually did break that record by hitting 375 miles per hour. So basically, maglev trains are no joke. So seeing how fast this baby is, I gotta know just how fast the route. That it takes, what can it go from one side of Japan to the other and back in like half an hour? Well, it's not quite that fast, but not as far off from those speeds as it used to be. It is initially going to have a section that takes it from Shinwa Station in Tokyo to Nagoya. However, it should take about 40 minutes to travel there. I'm still unsure of how quickly that is. Just driving that route alone, how long does it take? How impressive is it really? That same trip would take approximately 5 hours if you were to drive in average traffic, and that is if traffic is normal. The train is anticipated to travel other routes as well. Osaka has a boring extension. Driving from Tokyo to Osaka takes more than 6 hours. Currently, taking a train reduces that time in half, taking about 3.5 hours. That will probably be reduced even more by this new maglev train, perhaps to under 3 hours. Now that is definitely worth the money. So how much will it cost you to take a trip on this super sophisticated bloating train? Well, evidently the ticket on the standard route could cost upwards of 16237 That's insane, right? Wait, I've been fooled by this before. Wait for the conversion before freaking out that 16,000 yen, which translates to around $120. So what is the equivalent in the United States? For instance, if you take a train from New York City to Augusta, Maine, which is within the same ballpark, that Amtrak ticket will likely cost you somewhere in the neighborhood of $326. It also takes over 8 hours. So yeah, this new Japanese maglev train is awesome. We've covered how cool this maglev train is, but what about how dangerous it is? This is a genuine concern, seeing as these train hit over 300 miles per hour and could be a devastating accident waiting to happen. Even the construction of these tunnels aren't necessarily safe. On October 27, 2021, there was actually an accident that caused two construction workers to lose their lives. In a construction tunnel, a retaining wall fell, burying their boat. This prompted a thorough evaluation. Its safety checks revealed that they were egregiously deficient. That is how hazardous the construction is then. How risky are the real trains themselves? You might be taken aback. The actual Japanese bullet train network is called Kinsen. For instance, in more than 57 years, there have been no accidents. While there have been a number of catastrophes, including the 1991 Sugar Rocky train disaster, which killed 42 people and left 614 others injured, others have even included a 2019 crash outside of Tokyo that claimed one life and injured 34 others. 
These are considered rare. In Japanese railway history, so chances are that their new maglev beauty may never injure anyone while anyone that isn't building it apparently. The next question is, how are trains going to improve in the future? Right now, the biggest ideas for the expansion of train technology involves sustainable green tech. While most of those are your standard green energy, there are also some that are being proposed to run on human waste, as cool and pretty gross as that is. Let's be honest, it's not quite as cool as magnetic covered trains. As far as actual transportation innovation goes, I don't know that we can get bullet trains so much faster than they already are. That implies that the sky is literally the limit in terms of the future. Take a look at our ideas for actual flying trains slash plane hybrids. These tiny trains are actually ordinary rail trains with enormous wings attached. Similar to a regular train, you board them and then leave the station. The train then truly takes off after the wings are lowered. All the while, this little one is still clinging to the rails, carrying passengers along with it like a huge kite. Once it has completed its voyage, it slowly returns to the track, lets passengers off, and then boards a large number of additional passengers. And there are a lot of passengers there. Up to 2,000 people could fit on it. It would also be. Speed Demon, the train Blaine hybrid, would move at speeds close to 500 miles per hour, shattering any previously held records. As far as how much this thing would cost, my guess would be an astronomical price. I mean the technology here would have to be able to safely take off on a rail and then land back on it dozens of times. That does not strike me as cheap. Only the trains are more ridiculous than that. Japan is said to be working on a spacecraft capable of reaching the moon. This project may appear to be from the future, but it is actually from the 20th century. Even this Japanese maglev technology was being discussed in the 1970s. It was a government-funded project from Japan Airlines, Japanese National Railway, and Central Japan Railway Company. In fact, the development of this project led to the 7km or 4.3 test track for maglev research and development. This was actually the track where the Japanese maglev train was able to break the magnetic levitation track record, hitting 375 miles per hour back in 2015 so it may have taken a long, long, long time. However, the mission was eventually completed. Our maglev train clearly failed the most important test. That is the action movie test. The real test, in my opinion, is whether or not someone can actually fight on top of it. It does not, in my opinion, qualify as a bullet train. If you can have a comfortable fight where you can stay on your feet. A robber bullet train fight, like in Skyfall, should have you forced down to your belly as in movies like Wolverine or Mission Impossible. So someone named Tom Cruise, because we have a job for him. So 314 miles per hour for our maglev train. The top speed is reached. How feasible is that? How valuable is that for the big fight test? The bullet train from the Wolverine in Tokyo is likely to reach speeds close to 300 miles per hour. So a fight on top of this maglev train would have to be forced. Right down to your stomach. I'm glad science has finally provided an answer to this question. Hovering trains, flying trains, and green trains are all possibilities. All of this is cool, but I'm still waiting for my teleporter to whisk me away to Japan in a matter of seconds. We were promised something. Thanks for watching, see you until next video.